Blast me to Bermuda. It's time for the Mad Merlin's unboxing of Warhammer Underworlds, Diachasm, Cadra's Ravagers, for the Underworlds game system by Games Workshop. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mad Merlin's unboxing. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Warhammer Underworlds Diachasm Warband, Cargra's Ravagers. So this is the uh, Warriors of Chaos Warband for the Underworlds game system. And this is from the 4th uh, edition of the game, Diachasm. We're now on, I believe, 6th as we have the... Oh, sorry. 7th. We're on the 7th starter set coming out this uh, month. This week, actually. Sorry, so sorry. This weekend, we get the new one set in Narwood. So that looks pretty cool because I do like quite both warbands. We've got a Beast Deal uh, Mortal Chaos army where they sort of give in to their bestial rages. And we've also got a new Undead warband, which is um, a White King and his bodyguard, which is pretty cool. I believe it's he's like a king and sons. Definitely going to get one of that when it comes out. But focusing on today's warband, it is Kagra's Ravagers. So they are seeking to despoil the diachasm in the name of the Dark Gods. So in this box, we get four easy build models, four fighter cards, a desecration token exp explanation card, 32 Ravager cards, and 30 universal cards. So that's quite a nice selection of cards. And of course, there is um, new ways to play this, which I'll be getting into when I do my review of the, the new Gnarlwood core set. But on the side, so we got build your warband, construct your deck, and battle your rivals. And there we have the warband again on that side. So let's open them up and take a look inside. Oh. I will say at this point that this warband is actually now discontinued, but you can still get the models which are coming out this weekend again as an individual set with no cards. So if you want to add these models to your collection, you are free to do so, but you will not get their unique cards. As you can see, it's Games Workshop 2020 on it. So here we got one frame with the Sorcerer, which is Kagra's sister, I believe. And we got the back body for Kagra herself with her mace. And two of the bases there. And then on the other frame, we got their two bodyguards or boyfriends, whichever you want to call them. But our basic Chaos Warriors. We've got the guy with his axe and shield, with his sword stowed on his back. And the other guy is both weapons drawn with his shield on his back. So it's nice they got two slightly unique poses. Really helps them to stand out. They'll look good in your Warriors of Chaos units as well. If you want to add these to your Slaves of Darkness armies. So next up we got all our cards and our instructions. I'll just cut into the pack. So, yay, free card. So, I'll have a quick look at the instructions. We'll go vertical, I think, for this next step. Hold on a sec. There we go, that's better. So, here we have our instruction sheet. So, parts one to six form our first Chaos Warrior. Then parts 7 to 11 forms our second. Parts 12 to 16 forms Kagra herself. And then our final part, part 17 to 21, creates her sister, the Chaos Sorcerer of the Belch. So we have a nice lot of models in here. So before we move on to the cards, let's take a closer look at those frames. Bring them in here. So there we go. 
really good models. Very, I do love that classic uh, Warrior of Chaos trope. And this might just be the starting point to my um, Slaves of Darkness army. Although my proper starting point will be the new Warhammer Plus Chaos Sorcerer model and her uh, familiars when that becomes available. I've seen a lot of people picking up their exclusive model already, but I for some reason haven't been able to access mine yet. But either way, here we have a good view of the frames and the models. They have lovely details. There we have Kagra's face there, with a nice top knot and that snarling face there. You got the two warriors with their helmed heads there. These are really nice models. I, like I said, I do love the classic Warrior of Chaos look, and these just are perfect models, I believe, to represent champions or even elite units on the tabletop. So, really, out of this box, you get a Chaos Sorcerer, a unit champion in the form of Kagra. And then two grunts, pretty much, to add to your Slave to Darkness collection. So I need to pick up the Get Started box before it uh, becomes unavailable. So I definitely need to try and do that when it comes back in stock. It's currently out of stock, sadly. All right, let's take a closer look then at all our cards. So these, I believe, are the specific Warband cards. So we got our... There's a desecration token, we got our fighters. Mm, all muddled up. Right, so here we go. So we got our background fluff. So there you go, you can pause that if you want and take a read. It's gone, fine. <laughs> so we got our desecration tokens and all our different characters for the armies. Let's just push them in order. So Desecration Tokens, I'm guessing it's a new thing. So you cannot include this card in your deck. When the rule tells you to create, desecrate an objective, place one friendly Desecration Token on that objective. Use a counter to represent a Desecration Token. If it ended a power step, any enemy fighters is in the same hex as an objective that has a Desecration Token, remove that token. Fighters cannot hold an objective that has a Desecration Token. You cannot Desecrate a objective that already has a Desecration Token. If a Desecration Token is an objective, on an objective token that moves, the desecration token moves with it. If a desecration token is on an objective token that is flipped, remove the token. And that just explains it again. So moving on to our fighter card. So here we have Kagra the Usurper. So she has her demon bound mace, which attacks at range one. Rolls two dice requiring hammers and deals free damage with knockback. She has a movement of three, so the heavy armor makes her slow and cumbersome. She has a defense of one, and she has four wounds. So she got a sacrifice reaction after an activation in which this fighter's attack action takes the target out of action. Desecrate one objective in the same hex as this fighter or the target. So you see the desecration tokens page separately. And her inspire condition is after an activation, there are three or more desecration tokens on the battlefield you inspire. And this is what she looks like inspired. So her demon mace doesn't do anything different. She has a better defense and she has movement for now. So makes a lot, makes her more durable and more speedy. Let's go off camera again. Actually, better idea is to just move the camera like that. So there we go. That's Kagra. So then we got Zashia Bittersoul, which I believe from the lore was her sister. So she's got her Sorcerer Staff, which attacks at range 2, require, does 2 dice, requiring hammers and 1 damage each. Then she also has her Spike Tongue Curse, which is a spell, range 3, doesn't require any dice results, and deals single damage. She has movement of 3, defense of 1, and she has 3 health. And again, same um, inspire, inspiring condition. As long as there's three desecration tokens on the battlefield at the end of an activation, she becomes inspired. So her curse, if this attack action fails, the fighter suffers backlash. And then sacrifice again, the Kagra's fighter card. So her inspired state is... Mm, 
not much in the way of difference. So she gets a snare on her sorcerer staff, which is new. And other than that, oh, her spell goes up to two damage as well. Other than that, there's not a lot changed to her, but still, it's pretty cool. Then we got our two bodyguard guys, so Razak, God Blessed, and Dower Kragan. Ooh, he stumbles on that word. So we got Hellforged Axe and Hellforged Weapons. So the Hellforged Axe is range one, two dice requiring hammers and two damage. He has the despoil um, action, so if this fighter holds an objective at the end of the action phase, desecrate that objective. So they both have that. Dower's Hellforge weapons are range one, rolling three dice, requiring swords, and does two damage. They both have movement three, defense one on shields, and four health. And here's their inspired side. So Razak goes up to a defense two and movement four. Well, Kragen just goes up to a movement four, if he's inspired. He does get an extra hit. Uh, no, he doesn't. He gets cleave on his weapons. And Razak gets an extra attack dice. So there we go. Moving on to the decks. So we got our objectives and our ploy cards. So we'll take a look at the ploy cards first. Just quickly go through these. So we've got Eternal Vendetta, Eye of the Gods, Flames of Spite, Mask of Darkness, Power Reclaimed, Ravaging Advance, Ritual Desecration, Spurred On, Whispers of Chaos, Wrap the Land, Blasphemous Curas, Blazing Rune Shield, Bolstered by Hate, Conqueror's Cloak, Desecrator Gauntlets, Gifted Sorcerer, Grudging Defense, Hellfire Sword, Ruinous Might, and Unearthly Charisma. So that's our ex Warband exclusive cards. Now look at the Warband exclusive objectives. So we got Absolute Desecration for 4 Glory. Brutal Desecration for 1 Glory. Dark Approval for 2. Excuse me. Desolate Domain for 1. Fierce Conquerors for 2. Glorious Slaughter for two, Hurricane of Violence for two, Malevolent Exploits for one, On the Dark Road for one, Power of Chaos for one, Ravagers All for one, and Raised Realm for one. So, some nice cards there. All right, let's take a look at our Universal cards. So again, we've got a collection of ploys, which are all universal, and some objectives as well. So we'll do the same again. Take a look through our ploy cards. So we got Beast Trail, Colossal Blow, Energy Drain, Fane Strength, Fane Weakness, Hope Skin, or Hope Sink even, sorry. Need my glasses. Hunter's Aspect. Macabre Feast, Shocking Ferocity, Storm of Foreboding, Cherokee Claws, Dominant Defender, Feral Symbiote, Geomancer's Gauntlets, Mundane Razor, Ravening Stone, Rod of the Archmage, Scavenged Armor, Soultooth Javelin, and Terror Shield. And our Universal Objective card. So we got Arcane Cleansing for one glory. Magical Mark for one. Pitable Def Death for one. Starvation for one. The Hunt Advances for two. Turned Tables for one. Unafraid for two. Unassailable for one. 
underdog for two, and rest of dominance for one. So there we have it. All right, let's bring everything in then for my final thoughts. So there we have the unboxing for Kagra's Ravagers. And as I've mentioned already, I really do love the aesthetics that these models have. I've always had a liking for the Warriors of Chaos, but have never really gotten into collecting an army of them. Who knows, this might be the start of that. Uh, for what it is, you do get some amazing cards, both universal and exclusive to the Warband in question. So if you do manage to find this out in the wild, do pick it up if you either like the Warriors of Chaos or you do love the Underworld game. As I mentioned, this has no longer available directly from Games Workshop, but the models themselves are going to be available soon for a slightly reduced price. So for the entry price of £26, the Warband brings you an amazing amount of components. We get a good amount of cards, so we can improve our decks, and it gives us a new Warband to fight with. We also get some lovely classic Warriors of Chaos models. I managed to pick this up at my local game store, where I paid $23.44. And like I said, with this now being out of stock, I wasn't going to um, let this slip by. I've been meaning to pick this up for some time, and this is that time. So, there we have the unboxing for Warhammer Underworld's Diachasm Kagra's Ravagers. So, all that's left for me to do is say thank you all for watching. If you think I deserve it, please give this video a like. And also, don't forget to leave a comment in the description down below. Perhaps let me know your favourite warband. So, again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. And of course, don't forget, there's all my links in the description underneath the video. So, again, thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time for more mad content. Goodbye.